All right. So, how? Oh, two people are in the waiting room. Oh, here we go. Good gravy. I'm like slow on the draw here. I have too much going on. This is like my life. And my brain is like my computer screen right now. Tabs open everywhere. Where is this music coming from? <laughs> Too much chaos. Ducks not in a row. I know, right? Ducks, who's got ducks? I've got squirrels on a Ferris wheel. Woo! <laughs> I would love to have some ducks. <laughs> oh, man. So... <laughs> All right, so let's see. I suppose I'm supposed to do the like fun housekeeping agenda stuff. So if you're joining us on Zoom, uh, we do post these videos to YouTube for the world to see. So if you'd rather not have your face seen or voice heard uh, when you enter Zoom, you will be auto muted and your video will be off. Feel free to change that if you don't mind being seen. We love seeing you. We love hearing you. Uh, but we want to respect your privacy as well. Otherwise, if you're not joining us on the Zoom call and you're joining us in Facebook Live, uh, make sure that you comment here or watching live uh, so that we get your name in the drawing. You get twice if you're watching live. You get once if you're watching the replay. So make sure if you're not catching us live and you're watching our video later that you comment something, watching the replay, watching later, watching on Thursday, comment something so that we know that you watch so that we can get you on the prize wheel for next week because we love giving away prizes every week. So I think that's it for housekeeping stuff, right? Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I think we're good. Awesome. <laughs> this week we are chatting about, it's our second part. Uh, last week we started our two-part series on um, holiday, Christmas, gifty, DIY kind of things. Although, honestly, and I think Anne would agree, we do these gifts around, like, year-round. Like, birthdays, the bath soap that Anne shared last week, I've given that for birthdays. I've given those for a new mom gift. I've given those for you're not feeling well, let's give you a nice detoxing bath soap. So I do that one year round. Um, the decorated Ninksha bottle, um, there were several of those, like there were some 4th of July pictures that I posted in the group, so that's not just a Christmas gift. But with Christmas coming up and with everything going on this year and finances being a little tight, we wanted to give you several options and several ideas for ways that you can use the oils you've already got on your shelves to give friends and family some wonderful gifts while recycling Ningcha bottles or recycling oils bottles or using the oils you've got on hand. So we wanted to give you some cheap, fast, and oily DIY ideas. So um, the first one I want to share and hopefully this thing lets me share my screen because this was too cute not to show you a picture of. Okay, can you see this? So oh yeah. These are Grinch bath salts. And I, I found this on accident and going off of what Anne was doing last week, I could not help but share this. So it's wicked easy. It's just the Epsom salts like Anne was talking about. Um, the one thing you'll have to order on Amazon, actually Hobby Lobby has it as well. So if you're, if you live near a Hobby Lobby or a Michael's, they have this as well. You do not, I repeat, do not use green food coloring. It will stain your bathtub. It'll leave a ring. You need green. Sometimes it's labeled green soap dye. Sometimes it's labeled green mica. Sometimes it's labeled green lake coloring. Um, any of those, typically soap dye is what you're going to find at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You need a very little amount, but stir it in real good and it'll color your salt green. And then those hearts are actually sprinkles. You can get them at Walmart, like the Wilton cake decorated oh, yeah. sprinkles. So you can make for the kiddos in your life. Oh, and then obviously peppermint essential oil. That's the other thing in there. But peace and calming or gentle baby also come in green bottles. And both of those would work. Peace and calming would be fantastic for kiddos as a, as a bath salt thing. So this was too cute not to share with you guys. Wicked easy, great for kiddos. It's got those little hearts because the Grinch's heart grows three sizes at the end of the movie. Oh no, spoiler alert. Come on, who doesn't know the ending of the Grinch? But anyway, <laughs> I couldn't help but share that with you. It was so cute. So that's, that's awesome. Your life. I, love it. I love it. I'm so making that. That's adorable. 
hey, I'm going to make that for myself. Right? <laughs> I love the Grinch. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Very All right, Anne, take it away. What have you got to share with us this week? Well, I, I, I actually do this year-round as well, but you could really go crazy around the Christmas holiday because you can get these nice little, I think these are the... Looks like ounce. a four ounce. This is a four ounce, yes. I have two ounce ones in downstairs. Um, so I go with the four ounce ones for room sprays. So you could really go crazy. Like, okay, so Thanksgiving's coming up. So what do you do at Thanksgiving? You like, you know, there's pie. So you have to do like apple pie or pumpkin pie or something for a room spray. Oh, yeah. So, you know, as the Christmas holiday comes upon us, you could also get some really fancy little um, Christmas labels, you know, like really fancy ones. Again, Hobby Lobby, any, any store. And you could, you know, whatever ones you're thinking on doing you know it doesn't necessarily have to be christmas spirit it could be just a combination of some other oils like stress away stress away you know some for some um christmas is kind of a stressful time of the year um i tend not to be that that way um i i actually get very excited about christmas but yeah, I'm, I'm weird that way. Um, so you could, you could really go crazy. So what I do at Christmas time, like sometimes I'll just do like a, a, a pine and orange blend. Um, that's kind of nice. You could, you could do just Christmas spirit. That one's really simple. Um, so you, what you do is you, you add some water, you add some witch hazel, you know, just I don't know, a cap full of witch hazel. It doesn't have to be much, because again, this is only four ounces. Um, and however many drops of essential oil you want, I personally like it a little bit stronger. Um, you know, I just, that's just me. But generally speaking, you probably want to have anywhere between, I, I would go five, five to 10 drops, Get, give it that range shake it up really good. Um, you could, you could even put like little fancy ribbons on it as well, really make it fancy and, you know, give it away to coworkers, neighbors, you know, at Christmas time and really, really make someone's day. Um, cause I, I really feel like people are really in a funk right now. And I mean, what a better way. And it's pretty inexpensive to do these bottles you can get on Amazon for cheap and yeah, they're pretty cheap. you know, so, so that's all I have. <laughs> you know, you're talking about room sprays and like the holidays don't really stress me out too much. If company is coming, trying to clean up after a toddler and a one-year-old is stressful, but my diffuser helps with that. But actually the other thing I'm thinking, and although you label it a room spray, using mm -hmm. it in the van for traveling, mm -hmm. like the stress away you're talking, Oh yeah, <laughs> or peace and calming, <laughs> or lavender. Like those would be really good for driving. Mm -hmm. so, be it a room spray or a vehicle spray, I think that would be very helpful. Definitely, and you know you can order. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think they come like I've gotten them in boxes of twelve. Mm -hmm. Just think of how much fun you could have. You could have these located throughout your house. Oh, you yeah. Have them in your vehicles. You could even, you know, say a two ounce one. You could even have it in your purse. You could. <laughs> you could use it on the plane, spray down the plane seat and sleep. And <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is my plane seat spray. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, alrighty. So the next one I've got, oh no, my screen freaked out on me. Hang on. All right. So the next one I have for my DIYs, and we're going to try to share our screen again. So I'm going to show you this picture. So this is, when I was a kid, I don't know if anyone really does potpourri anymore. I don't have any in my house, but this is kind of one of those things that's like, cool a novelty thing but if people throw it away you're not like really offended 
So I was thinking of taking the girls on a nature walk. Um, my dad owns some woods and I thought it would be fun to get like some sticks and some pine cones. I don't know where I'd get those berries. I think they're fake, but like a couple of leaves or like shells of walnuts or acorns or something, just kind of put them in there. Um, mm -hmm. if you've got like some burlap thread or some fun yarn or like twine or something, put it in there. Those caps with that, uh, like netting mesh holy topping, uh, you can get those at Fleet Farm. I've seen it at Fleet Farm. Sometimes they're at Walmart. Um, otherwise they're on Amazon. I'm, who are we kidding? Amazon have, has everything. But, um, so before putting the pine cones in or some twigs or acorn shells, um, just put a couple drops of like Christmas spirit or pine. If you've got a pine branch in there, like the picture showed, put a few drops of pine in there. Um, some orange, you can dehydrate orange peels and they naturally mm -hmm. add a fragrance, but mm. you can drop a couple more drops of orange in there like you're talking and have a pine and orange potpourri thing or have mm -hmm. Christmas spirit potpourri or just plain pine or um, evergreen essence or that kind of a thing. So that's kind of a cool idea. A potpourri you can even, decoration. Yeah, you, you can even use some of the new essential oil winter night. Ooh, yeah, that would be good. Mm -hmm. That's got a That's... lot of that, like, evergreen smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's got the orange and the peppermint. That peppermint would be a nice, yep. cool, like you're walking through the woods while smelling the peppermint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Might, have to... Might, have... Might have to make some of those. <laughs> I know, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have to take those boys you nanny for on it. I was just saying, I could, I could, Lucas would love that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find some pine cones. <laughs> Do you have another one to share? Otherwise, I think I've got one more. Yeah, you've got, just go ahead and take your, your last one. All right. Well, it's not my last one. Who are we kidding in? I've got yeah, I know. DIY <laughs> stuff, but... I'm limiting myself due to time restraints here. Last one for today. Last one for today. So I'm going to share my screen again. You guys are going to get sick of seeing all my tabs and stuff open. So on Amazon, I need to be like, what are the Amazon affiliates or something? I need to get my own link, get some money off these videos. So I found these ornaments and I'm super excited to get them for the girls. So I've taught something called a painting and oils class, which is really fun. A bunch of ladies just get together. I order some like six by eight canvases or something like that. And then we put paints in a palette and then we put oils in the paints. So like hmm. red, we've done uh, bergamot and in orange, we've done orange and in yellow, we've done lemon and so on and so forth. So we paint canvas with acrylic paints and then when you're done, your canvas smells like an orange grove or a citrus sunset or a pine grove or whatever. So I'm really excited to do these with the girls. These are wooden ornaments. So they will, you can just give them as wooden ornaments. Like you could just color these with markers and drop essential oils on them. And the wood will retain the essential oil drops on there. Otherwise, like my painting and oils classes, you could do some oils in acrylic paints and paint these wooden ornaments and the wood will absorb not only the paint, but the oils that you put in there. So either way with markers or with paints, um, as long as you're using oils, that wood will retain that and you will have beautiful smelling diffuser ornaments, which is really cool. Mm. And being wood, um, last week I talked about those like uh, uh, dry, quick dry clay ornaments. Mm -hmm. And those, they do work really well, but if you've got little, little ones, those may shatter or break, um, or if you're transporting them, or if you're shipping them, they may not hold up to shipping. Um, so these wood ones, a little bit more crafty, my girls are going to be able to express their creative artisticness a little bit more than they can with um, stampers and cookie dough cutters, but um, the colors I think will be fun, so that'll be a nice... You could do both sets of ornaments or you could do one set of ornaments and not the other, but just another cool idea for ornaments. Yeah. That's another idea to do with, you know, little two-year-olds. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or who am I kidding? I'm doing some of these. I'm not giving them to the girls. <laughs> yeah. I'm making some yeah, of these. Exactly. I, like paint. I love painting. I miss it. 
I'm doing some of these ornaments too. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Do you have anything else, Anne? Well, I just wanted to briefly mention that, um, you know, last week I talked about the, the bath soak and um, the lemon peppermint sugar scrub. And there's another one. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes my feet really need some TLC. And so there's also a foot soak you can do, um, which is really kind of nice because if you're, if you're like me, um, you know, sitting down, just doing nothing is kind of unheard of. Um, so if I'm going to soak my feet, it's going to be usually in a, you know, a nice little tub and I'm going to have something else to do <laughs> while my feet are soaking. But it's, um, you know, it's basically the Epsom salts, once again, um, baking soda, lemon juice, and I'll post this um, recipe on in the comments like I did last week. Thank you. <laughs> People can, can have it. Um, lavender, lemon, and peppermint essential oils. That's all it is. And it just, oh, it just revitalizes your feet. Um, mm. you know, I'm, you know, I'm one that, I mean, I'm on my feet a lot and there are times that I'm like, man, my feet really could use something, you know, and that is really the trick. So I'll make sure I, I post that um, when we're done here so that everybody can enjoy it. Wonderful. And again, you can put it in, you know, you can mix this up ahead of time and, you know, put it in cutesy little containers, you know, like put a little bit of everything that we've talked about in like a little fancy little bag for a gift or, you know, I mean, you could just really go crazy um, and with all this DIY stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I've got a full Pinterest board of just oily DIY stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm checking the comments here to see if anybody has questions and to make sure we get everybody on the prize wheel. We have a lot of people for the prize wheel tonight. And Jasmine, uh, for those of you who can't see the comments, Jasmine posted something super helpful. She says that she does wooden ornaments with essential oils. She drops on cinnamon to help deter the cats from getting too curious around the tree. Cats are not big fans of the smell of cinnamon or of lemon. Um, mm -hmm. So I've done uh, for some friends like sprays of cinnamon and lemon mm -hmm. for like couches that cats tend to claw on and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's actually a really smart idea if you put like around like a, on the bottom of the tree, you do some wooden ornaments with lemon or cinnamon dropped on those wooden ornaments, your cat's mm -hmm. climbing up your tree and playing with the glass ornaments that you want. To make. <laughs> so thank you, Jasmine, for sharing that. That is super helpful. I think I'm going to put your name on the wheel again, just because that <laughs> is such a super helpful idea. So you get an extra entry. Thank you for sharing. Wow. That. See how easy it is? Oh, see how easy it is to get on the wheel? You watch live, you get two, you give helpful hints, you get another one. All righty. Okay, I think I've got everybody. Anne, do you have anyone to add to the wheel? Nope. We've got Rodney, we've got Wendy, we've got B, Sue, Jasmine, and Emily all watching live. We've got a few left over from last week. I don't see any other new comments or anything. So I think we're ready to, we have a lot of names on this wheel this week, you guys. All right, share screen. All right, can you see? Mm hmm oh, Okay. Wow. Look at that wheel. I know, look, it's so colorful. All right, and I'm doing the prize this week. I'm not sure what it'll be yet, so I don't know. Maybe whoever wins gets to pick a prize. I don't know. I've got lots of options. I just haven't decided <laughs> on one yet. <laughs> All right, ready? Drum roll. <laughs> and B's are winning. Yeah, it's going to be Jasmine. Congrats, B. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, B. Thank you for tuning in with us every week. It's a joy to have you here. All right. 
unless anyone has any other questions, which I don't see anything, um, I think we will call it a night and see you next week. Um, next week, or what are we doing next week again, Ann? I forget. We have <laughs> recipes, right? Isn't that I what think, we're doing? I think so. We're doing holiday recipes like mm -hmm. punch and cranberry mm -hmm. sauce and all those kind of good things. Oh, yeah. Yummy goodies. Mm -hmm. Make everybody hungry for that Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we'll all be craving it Tuesday night and have another 48 hours to wait. <laughs> awesome. Well, you all have a wonderful night. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you same time, same place next week. See you later. Bye.